What tools do you need to start learning and using JavaScript when you start from zero? First of all, you will need a laptop or a PC. You can use the operating system of your preference, since all the tools I will mention in this video are cross-platform. You will also need a web browser. Feel free to choose the one that you love the most. I think these tools didn't surprise you too much, so let's see three more things that you will need. The first thing we need is a text editor. When we write JavaScript code, we are only creating text files and writing a lot of lines of text into them. Therefore, we will need a text editor to create our JavaScript files. You can use any text editors, even Notepad would do it, but there are several editors that are developed to help us writing and formatting code. I will use Visual Studio Code, but feel free to use an editor that you like. My honorable mentions are Sublime Text, Notepad++, and Atom. The next thing we need is Node.js. Node.js is a JavaScript runtime environment that executes JavaScript code outside of a web browser. You can use Node.js to run JavaScript codes from your command line and it will be really useful for practicing when you get started. Node.js comes with npm, which is a package manager, and you can use it to install and use packages. Packages are really useful and you can learn a lot from them. Also, if you want to use modern UI frameworks like Angular, React, Vue or Gatsby, you will also need Node.js to be installed. The third thing we need is Git. Git is a version control system for tracking changes in source code during development. You can use it to back up your code and trace the changes. Maybe you won't find it useful in the beginning, but you will definitely need it down the road. Also, if you will work as a programmer, you will 100% use a version control system day by day and Git is by far the most popular among them. Let's set up our environment. Let's get our text editor first. I will use VS Code, but feel free to choose any text editors that you like. So go on Google, let's type in VS Code. Click on the first result. Now you can download the installer that fits your operating system. Since I'm on Windows, I will use the Windows 64-bit version. Let's download it. Launch the installer and follow the instructions. Consider checking these two options in because they will help you in opening folders and project really fast. Click Next and Install to finish the installation. Now let's start VS Code and install some extensions. My first recommendation is Material Icon Team. Material Icon Team will add cool material icons to a lot of often used file extensions and make it easy to identify file types just by looking at them. This extension will be really helpful when you start to work with multiple files or big projects. The second extension that I suggest is One Monokai Team. One Monokai Team is just a color theme for VS Code, which I really like. Give it a chance, who knows, maybe you will like this appearance. The last extension that I suggest is Prettier, the code formatter. Prettier will automatically keep your code formatted beautifully. It will save you a lot of time with formatting. This is hands down my favorite extension. Now let's install Node.js. First, type Node.js in Google and hit search. Click download in the first result. Now you can download the installer. I recommend to download the LTS version because it guaranteed to be supported for a long time. Run the installer and follow the instructions. Click finish and let's check if Node.js is installed correctly. You can go for search and type in cmd. It will open a command line and we can verify that Node.js is installed correctly if we type node dash dash version. 
we can see the version of Node.js that we have installed. Cool. We can close the command line now. Let's install Git. Search for Git in Google. Click the first result. Go to Downloads and download the installer for your operating system. Run the installer and follow the instructions. The basic settings should be fine for you. To check if Git is installed correctly, open a command line and type in git dash dash version. If you see the version of your git installation, then you successfully installed git. Good job. Thank you for watching till the end of this video. If you found it useful or learned anything new, please consider subscribing to this channel. You can also drop a like if you wish and leave feedback in the comment section below. I see you folks in the next video.